Joe Hasselbrad has been with NDI Hospital 15 years, and we would like to express our deep appreciation to him for all the years of dedication and hard work and service that he has um, put into this organization and the way he has touched our lives. Joe is funny. He's a unique guy. A character. Kind, caring, understanding, jovial. He's dedicated to his community. An incredibly caring and thoughtful person. He'll always have a big heart to me. Joe is like everyone's uncle. He is so thoughtful, so caring. He remembers the little things. He remembers everyone's birthday. He remembers um, your anniversaries. He remembers things that even you might not remember. And he, he, he makes an effort to remind you of those things. And he also makes an effort to make you feel very special. The sweetheart, he's just a big goofy guy uh, who means well, I don't think you could hurt a fly. A genuine person that really wants to help you out. Joe is one of the hardest working, um, kindest leaders. He is fair and honest and funny and good and caring and basically the salt of the earth. He has an amazing way of understanding where there are things that need to be done and he just does them without hesitation. And he's so supportive of all of the health centers and all of the individuals who work in this hospital. If he'd come into the clinic, um, he, the phone would ring and there'd be, everyone had a phone to their ear and Joe would pick up the phone. You know, Cadillac Family Practice, this is Joe, how can I help you? And everyone knows Joe to be that kind of um, that kind of leader. Um, he he's just not afraid to step up and help out, regardless of what position you're in um, or how much he has on his plate to do. He left big impression on a lot of people um, that he would, as a director, he would he would do something as simple as that and he would even say do you need help do you need me to stay do you need me to cover a lunch you know to answer the phone when i think of where joe has gone above and beyond is the way that he's kept the practice managers to working together as a team and the way that he has brought them together so that they can effectively manage the practices it's a large large department and Joe has done a really great job of, of empowering that group and helping them to work together. He made work enjoyable, rewarding, and challenged me with a motivating approach. I could always call him if I had a question or just needed to talk. Um, he would listen, validate, and problem solve as needed. In my short time here with Joe, he created a wonderful work family. I could always go to him with any issue or concern or bounce an idea off from him and I could always count on him to get me an answer um, so I felt confident in doing my job. The thing that I've enjoyed the most about working with Joe over the years is how he's mentored me uh, through my various positions at MDI Hospital. Uh, when I started working, when I left the emergency department and came to the health centers, uh, I worked with, under Joe um, as a supervisor and it just had moved up since then and I'm now a colleague with Joe and it's been a really great experience uh, working with him. He was in the hospital for about six weeks here and uh, was still trying to get work done. He would have his computer up there. I gave him a bunch of special projects that weren't, weren't the most exciting in the world. One of them provider patient panels, which I know he had a lot of fun with, but certainly appreciated his attitude and his dedication and loyalty to the hospital because he has really been a big part over the past 15 years of us being successful and being able to uh, keep us as an independent facility. He is completely devoted to his work, to his work family, to his family family, and his kids and grandkids. And, uh, and so I just believe that Joe innately goes above and beyond. It's who he is. He always goes above and beyond. So when my husband got sick with cancer, um, Joe would text or call me every probably every other day to see if Jim and I needed anything, to see how I was doing. So Joe's probably the biggest, hardest guy I've ever met. Joe has led with the understanding that taking care of his staff results in quality patient care, which is so important. 
So one of the last projects that Joe and I worked on, which had a huge impact on this organization, on this community, was implementing the electronic medical record in our behavioral health center. Joe really paused, reflected on how we could do that efficiently and effectively, and what that meant for our patients, our providers, and our community to have more access to behavioral health services, but also for the transitions of care. He led that project. It was ama amazing to see how effectively and efficiently he did it. We had a timeline about uh, six months and we were up and running in three and a half months. And that was really about Joe having the vision for the team, laying that vision out, the purpose of why we needed to accomplish that and how we accomplished that so quickly. Uh, it was really about him building the coalition and the consensus around why we needed to do that. He's always looking for a way to make people laugh. I think that's the best part about Joe is he has a story for everything. And just there's always a way of looking at the bright side and the sense of humor that comes along with that. And I think it just it makes Joe a lot of fun to be around. Yeah, I really worked pretty closely with Joe over many years and we've we've been through a bunch of different things. Um, he's always had a great attitude, adds a little bit of humor even when the rest of the day is far from funny. Um, Joe can usually be relied on to come up with something. Everything about Joe is just funny. He's like a comedian. But the funniest thing, I think, is the way my sister Lisa got after him all the time. I, I never knew who to protect during meetings when she was giving him a hard time. Joe would probably describe me as his problem child. And I um, would often say to my eldest sister, that also is one of his managers, I don't really understand why, you know, why he thinks that. And she'd say to me, well, Lisa, maybe because almost every meeting you, um, you frustrate him to the point of elevating his blood pressure. <laughs> so that was always really funny, the reaction that he would have um, when Lisa was giving him a hard time about one thing or another and it just became a playful banter over the years. You could take any meeting off in an angle that you never thought it could. Uh, he's very funny and he'll come up with comments that nobody thought of and just think of really funny things to say. We laughed, we laughed so hard that I literally had mascara running off my face. And that's kind of what Joe did. You know, if, you, if laughter um, can, make a person live a little longer. I think he's added years to my life with the amount of belly laughter that um, he has given to me over the years of working with him. Joe, congratulations on retirement. You've worked so hard for this for so long and I am so happy for you and I hope you get to travel everywhere you wanted to travel and I hope that you get to have all the dogs you ever wanted to have and um, I just don't be a stranger. I hope to hear from you still and best of wishes on everything. It has been an honor and a privilege to have Joe as our director. His knowledge and dedication will truly be missed. Congratulations, Joe. You've been the best boss, um, most approachable, kind person that I've ever met. You've been super supportive, so supportive of this team, the managers, um, the team at Cooper Gilmore General Surgery, COVID testing team, um, always been there to answer our questions. No matter the significance of the questions, you always treat everyone fair um, in a kind and caring way and always got our answers um, to us in a timely manner. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that and the team appreciates that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, the conversations we've had in our practice manager meetings with you have been always informative, but delightful too at the same time, fun. Um, you've made everything enjoyable um, and we truly have been blessed to have you in our lives and we'll miss you greatly. I know I will. Please stay in touch. I wish you all the best. Joe, congratulations on your retirement. 15 years at MDI Hospital. We're going to miss you. We hope that you have a really great retirement and that we'll see you again um, as soon as we can get on the other side of this pandemic. and and we'll make that happen. I think that uh, we're gonna miss you and we'll do our best to continue on all the great work that you've done. Joe, I wish you all the best. You have put so much time and energy 
into everything that you've done at MDI Hospital and for the health centers specifically. Now it's important for you to take care of yourself and invest all of that time and energy into yourself and your family. I look forward to hearing from you and, and hearing about all your adventures to come. Thank you for all that you've done for myself, the health centers, MDI Hospital, and this community. Joe, we're gonna miss you. Uh, I wish you a really happy retirement. Uh, you definitely deserve it. And you need to, you know, stop working so darn hard. I know you're one of the hardest working people I've ever met. Uh, and with that long commute, just relax, enjoy it. Come back sometime when you can. We all love to see you. Uh, but just basically be well. Okay, Joe? <laughs> Your shoes will be hard to fill. It's been a privilege to work with him. And um, I hope you enjoy retirement, Joe, and find lots of hobbies that make you smile. Maybe you could come play golf with me. Um, and you've worked hard your entire life. So I think it's time you enjoy your family and some free time without an alarm clock. Well, Joe, I really congratulate you. You've worked very hard um, over these years and um, appreciated all your help to me. Uh, certainly made me feel welcome, really helped me get the information on historical things, get used to the systems, um, always willing to make sure that I had the information I needed and certainly just made it a, a great place to be. And really, you know, I consider you everyone here at the hospital like family, but I, I feel like you're, you're my brother and I really appreciate everything you've done. Thank you for the confidence that you have had in me. Thank you for the gentle way of correcting me when I needed it. Thank you for the kindness you've always shown to me. Thank you for keeping things lighthearted when they seemed the heaviest. Thank you for all the healthy laughter that we've shared together. Oh wait, I think I might've been the only one laughing. Thank you for the support that you've always given to me through all these years. Thank you for always being there. And Joe, when those times when things would drive us to say, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job. We both knew the truth. You loved your job and so do I. I just hope that I can continue to love what I do without you being here. Congratulations on your retirement. I wish you a long, healthy, joy-filled life doing all the things that you have on your bucket list. Please take care of yourself and stay well, Joe. I'm going to miss you a lot. Joe, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for always having my back, always supporting me, putting me in my place when it needed to happen. Um, protecting me, protecting the others. We always knew we could count on you. You have been more than a boss to us. You've been like an uncle. I can't call you my dad. You're not that much older than I am, but you certainly are a father figure and um, someone that I care about very, very deeply. And I know that I can speak on behalf of the other managers in that we absolutely appreciate you and respect you and love you and adore you because I can say that now as if I haven't in the past. But we wish you every wonderful thing that you deserve. And we ask you to promise us that this is not goodbye. Joseph Hasselbrack, I wish you all the health and all of the relaxation and respite you deserve after 15 years of dedication to this organization and so many years of dedication to communities and healthcare in general. I hope that you travel, you get to spend time with your family and more importantly, that you just take good care of yourself. And we look forward to seeing you uh, in 2021, happy, healthy, and relaxed.